Each week, we bring you stories of athletes who inspire us. For Christian Brothers girls basketball star Leah Nelson, spreading positivity has always been her mission. Our sports reporter Parker Ream shows us how she's giving a voice to the voiceless, both on and off the court. We so often hear the saying, stick to sports nowadays. For one Christian Brothers basketball player, she's doing anything but sticking to sports. Although they are a pretty big part of her life. Baseball, I picked flowers, and so basketball is the only one that I was really interested in. And lucky for her, too. You know, no flowers to pick in basketball. You can't. Uh, no flowers. <laughs> Leah made the varsity basketball team last year as a freshman and led the Falcons in scoring. You think teams are going to prepare for you this, this year? I mean, I, I, they probably should. I, that's what I would say. Her actions on the court spoke volumes, but it was her actions off the court that spoke even louder. Um, when I was younger, I started a program called Because I Care 11, and that started when I was in fifth grade, and it's kind of grown with me into the person that I am now. Leah's program, Because I Care 11, started with a simple message. It started with just positivity and kindness. And it grew into so much more right alongside Leah. And as I grew older and got more interested in racial things and in political subjects and stuff like that, it's grown up with me. In 2016, Leah came to her dad, Charles Nelson, with an idea as they sat watching the TV. It was when the police officers were shot in Dallas. At 11 years old, Leah sensed a need for change. And she came to me and she had this um, idea of like, I'm going to make these bracelets and give them to people and encourage them to do something nice. So mind you, I have this 11 year old girl sitting in front of me telling me this idea as in the background, you're seeing all this civil unrest. The idea became a movement. Hashtag Because I Care served as a reminder to spread happiness and positivity no matter the circumstance. I will admit it, like my daddy eyes watered up. And so um, she borrowed her little brother's matchbox car set. Um, she used the case, made a bunch of bracelets. But it didn't stop there. All of a sudden it went from just, hey, I can take this bracelet and do something kind for someone else to I can now capture and create a moment where I can do a lot of really, really cool things. And there were a lot of cool things. There was a man that was about to lose his house after a hurricane in Houston. She paid the rent for him. She's done a basketball camp here for kids that are at St. John's. She's thrown a birthday party for homeless kids. She took a group of at-risk kids to go see Black Panther for free. The list goes on and on, but the message remained the same throughout the years. Understanding that people have differences and just understanding that we can speak from a place of kindness and speak from a place of trying to understand, understand another perspective. By continuing to push positivity in every aspect of her life, she encouraged her friends to help join the movement. Her friend and teammate, Alea, has been there every step of the way. Well, when she had events, I would go and help out and just like support her and help like when she made bracelets for the things, I'd help her make bracelets and stuff like that. And just like supporting her with that um, program. Motivated by the support of those around her, Leah knows she has a platform as a high school athlete and a possible D1 athlete. I know that I have my little cousins that look up to me, my little brother that looks up to me, and I know that that's something that keeps me going. And so making sure that they're always going to have a positive role model, whether that's on the news or in social media or stuff like that. Leah's legacy will remain in sports in the future, just in a different way. Winter sports are on their way, and CB women's basketball is preparing to dominate this season. Leah served as a Kings kids reporter for two years, and it's safe to say she's built up quite the resume already. Besides maybe taking my job in the future, Leah wants to continue to use her voice through journalism. Because I want to be able to give a voice to the voiceless, especially for me as a young black kid growing up that we have role models on TV that we can look up to and see. As for Leah's legacy, she'll always be a game changer, even long after she laces those shoes up for the final time. Reporting in Sacramento, Parker Reen, 49ers Sac High Sports. Now, Leah says she thinks the Falcons have a good chance at making a run in playoffs this year and is excited to begin her sophomore season. Very Doing good. great work in her community. Yeah, good for her.